Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about how an ex-football player, Antonio Brown, had a major role in leaking a nude video of 22-year-old basketball player, Caitlin Clark. She's younger than me, and uh, I really hope she sues. <laughs> and I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it, so I guess I'll talk about it here and <laughs> see how that goes. This video is going to be a little bit different because, you know, I feel like I talk about some super funny, goofy, silly things, and this one to me is insane, genuinely insane insane and uh, I feel like more people should care about it. Before I get into this video, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 300,000 subscribers before the end of May. So please subscribe. Also, I have a membership program. It's $5 a month. You can just click the join button below and check that out. Okay, now we'll get into the video. So if you don't know, Caitlin Clark is a women's basketball player. She just got drafted in the WNBA. Hannah and I have been watching her for quite a long time and she's by far one of the most exciting players I've ever seen. I watched her break the all-time women's scoring record and then the all-time men's and women's scoring record. She's a phenomenal player and unfortunately when you see women succeed in sports there's going to be opposing positions. The opposing position that we're going to talk about today is a guy named Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown is an ex-NFL football player who says some really insane shit on social media. Everything sort of changed with Antonio Brown a few years ago when he got tackled and he hit his head so so hard that it changed his personality. Almost like Brendan Schaub. I would like to picture Brendan Schaub being funny prior to UFC. Now, Antonio Brown posts some really insane shit on Twitter, but then he started going after Caitlin Clark. The first tweet that I could find that was sort of evidence of this was, bitch look like Mel Gibson. Uh, hashtag CTESPN. And then he has his own media company, CTESPN. Okay. This is him retweeting a, a Fox College Hoops post. She's the new NCAA D1 women's basketball scoring leader. Now, CTESPN is interesting because he embraces that he has CTE, which is chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which is something that you can get from traumatic brain injuries. Now, as you can see, this got 48,000 likes. He's just posting this at 6.30 a.m. as most people do. If you're going to attack like a 21, 22 year old girl, um, I at least do it later in the day. You know what I mean? She's waking up and she sees this on her phone. That's fucked, man. <laughs> Do it at least after lunch. Come on. Now, my biggest problem with Antonio Brown is not that he makes fun of people's looks, okay? There's so much worse shit on Twitter. The problem that I have with Antonio Brown is this tweet that he made two months later. Caitlin Clark looks like she keep it hairy. 18 million views, 53,000 likes, which is really wild. It seems like if anybody else tweeted about a young girl in the way that she shaves, they would be canceled immediately but because this guy outwardly has a traumatic brain injury, people are like, that's just AB. That's Antonio Brown, my buddy, who retired from the NFL mid-game. Antonio Brown without his uniform, we are told. This was on April 17th, and because it went viral, he tweeted again. Mel Gibson NIL razor deal with Manscaped coming soon. NIL is name image likeness, which means that college players can now get brand deals. In the past, they haven't been able to make money in college, you know, which is just another sort a lame low blow joke. He keeps it going, right? He's retweeting his own shit. He just hashtags CTESPN. And then the scene from Scary Movie where the guy takes off the girl's pants and her hair comes out of her pants. He uh, posts from uh, makeagif.com, which we all know and love. And then April 17th ends. Antonio Brown goes to sleep. Hong Shu Hong Shu as the happiest guy in the world. He's got a viral hit tweet talking about a young girl's vagina. Then on April 18th, the very next day, Caitlin Clark blocks him on Twitter, which is fair, right? Maybe not. Cracker of the day, hashtag CTESPN, blocked by cousin it with a barber shop emoji. Caitlin Clark blocked you. So Antonio Brown does this thing called cracker of the day, which I don't care about, right? It's just that he's still going with the cousin it barber shop emoji shit after she's basically admitted to seeing this tweet and not fucking with it. Now, when you poke the CTE bear, if you will, bad things happen. Antonio Brown doesn't have a job. He's just online all day. So, April 18th, he continues, make comedy funny again. A post by Daily Loud blocks Antonio Brown after he said, Caitlin Clark looks like she keep it hairy, okay? Make 
make comedy funny again. This guy is doing a full on comedians can't say any jokes anymore without getting canceled. What's with that? This is during the peak of this girl's success, right? Because this girl can't have success without people like him bringing her down. April 18th again, there's a post that says, now y'all tell me she ain't hard eyes, okay? He responds and says, she looked like she about to sign the Declaration of Independence, which I guess, I, I guess he's saying that she looks like a founding father or John Hancock. Now, I'm not saying that Antonio Brown should know his history behind the Declaration of Independence, but if you were to look at illustrations, I, I don't think that a young girl with really expensive jewelry on would, would sign the Declaration of Independence. I don't even think, I mean, she couldn't even vote at that point. April 18th, he keeps it going. Nike shoe prototype released, hashtag CTESPN. Caitlin Clark's Hair Force Ones. He's retweeting the same, she keep it hairy fucking tweet from the day before, and it's a Nike shoe with hair on it. Do you guys get it? Hey, do you get it though? <laughs> Tell me if you understand this because it's Hair Force Ones instead of Air Force Ones. And the shoe on the bottom is just a completely different shoe. <laughs> it's the most AI generated thing I've ever seen. The next day, April 19th, we continue. Less canceling, more comedy. Let people be who they are. It's 2024, which is the complete opposite of what this motherfucker said, right? <laughs> Let people be who they are. It's 2024. Unprovoked, Caitlin Clark, a senior in college, is getting massive amounts of tweets about about her fucking vagina. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Let people be who they are. Except she looked like she keep it hairy. Next tweet, April 19th again. She looked like she keep it hairy. Repeated. When did a bush become a bad thing? Did we cancel the bush? Make bushes great again, dude. Which is another fucking insane take, right? Because we're taking the backlash that he got for this, which honestly, and as sad as it is, he got more support in this than he did backlash. More people were mad at Caitlin Clark for not taking a joke. It's fucking insane. What I love about this tweet is that he's like, no, what I was saying is that it's actually a good thing. Did we cancel this too? Make bushes great again. What are you talking about, man? What the fuck? <laughs> now he's like an ally of all women, even though he's calling her fucking cousin it. <laughs> April 19th. I mean, fuck, this dude tweets so much. April 19th. Make bushes great again. You dig? Harry Potter devil face? <laughs> Just stating his favorite book series. Remember when Bush was funny? Make bush great again. CTESP and bringing back normal cancellation culture, try to tear it down. Right. Because this whole time, Antonio Brown's been in support of Bushes, right? By saying that somebody looks like they don't shave. Like just assuming we keep going. Generational run continues. Make Harry Coochie great again. We continue. Caitlin Clark after that first WNBA check hits. I don't get what this means. Is he, he's saying that she's going to get a, her boobs done. Also WNBA check, just not a check. <laughs> She's going to make 70 something thousand dollars a year. That's just not a check. <laughs> I bet you she could make more than 70 with her degree. Now she is getting Nike deals and all these other sponsorships, so she'll be fine financially. But the WNBA check, I don't I don't think you're getting these with that. Also, man, fuck you. You're using like this weird AI program to be like, put boob on Caitlin Clark. Please put bo big boobs on this face. Holy shit, man. Go back to football. Do something else. This girl's fine. We continue April 19th, the same day. Caitlyn's boyfriend leaving the house. And then we have a guy flossing with hair. But, but, bushes are good. Bushes are normal. All women are beautiful, except her boyfriend. It's so gross, you know? Women can't do that. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, boy. Then we continue with a cute little Steven Crowder meme. Harry, Carrie. Don't know. CTESPN. It's Harry. Change my mind with a nice photo of AB. Is it Harry? Hashtag CTESPN. So he's polling his fucking fans. 72,000 votes, man. So now you've got millions of other people, right? Thinking about this young girl's vagina, right? Was that the goal here? The goal here was to get more awareness about whether Caitlin Clark's parts are hairy or not. April 20th, next day, we had a really good night's sleep. We wake up, we say Indiana Fever, AKA Indiana Beaver. Indiana Fever is the team that she just got drafted to. Number one draft pick, right? April 20th, we're still going. Make Bush great again. Hashtag CTESPN. And then we've got the backing into the Bush fucking gif from the Simpsons. I love that Antonio Brown's a big Simpsons fan. I think 
think when you have the brain capacity to only watch cartoons, that's, uh, I mean, that's a good choice. We continue April 20th. CTESPN never beats around the bush. And then he says, follow this. Antonio Brown broke the Caitlin Clark news days before anybody else. You're probably like, what? What, what does that mean? I, I don't. So he's, he's now breaking news that she doesn't shave. Okay. We continue April 20th. He responds to his own poll. America was right. Oh, so how does he know? That's odd. Is there something that he's seeing that we haven't yet? And then on April 21st, somebody posts and says, are you on team Caitlin Clark or team Antonio Brown? 74% says that they're on team Antonio Brown, which is insane because the only public thing that Caitlin has done was block him. And that wasn't even public until he made it public. He retweets this poll and that's probably why the poll was off. People really offended by this make Bush great again. And then something unbelievable happens. Um, a nude video of Caitlin Clark on April 22nd is leaked. That's five days after Antonio Brown made it viral for the public to be thinking about this girl nude. You may be thinking, how does Antonio Brown respond to this? I mean, he would never post a screenshot from this nude video, right? He wouldn't like promote it and like get his followers to want to look more into this leak. Come on, the legal ramifications of that must be insane. I'm going to blur out her photo, but this was a tweet that he deleted. Wonder why. I was wrong. Peace sign, Caitlin, with George Bush flipping off the video of her in the shower. I find this all so convenient that a video of Caitlin Clark with a razor in her hand was leaked after Antonio Brown says that she doesn't shave. The worst part about this video is that it's a point of view of somebody holding a phone in front of a shower curtain, opening the shower curtain, Caitlin Clark screaming, and then the person backs away from the fucking shower curtain. Now, I don't think that leaks are okay in any situation, but this could cause a lot of charges. I've, I've never seen seen anything like this. She was not consenting to being recorded in the video. And then that gets leaked. And then screenshots get posted by Antonio Brown, who has made $100 million in his career and is a huge figure in media. Now, at the same time, another women's college basketball player, her nudes got leaked. And that I don't really want to talk about just because it involves like outing someone. So April 22nd, the same day that he posts the screenshot of Caitlin Clark in the shower, uh, Angel Reese, another women's college basketball player, now professional, protect young women in sports. Antonio Brown responds and says 100% agreed. Huh, where's, where's this fucking switch up, right? Oh no, April 22nd, we have another one. I'll say it again. This season, women's college basketball is better than men's college basketball. Caitlin Clark should be drafted in the NBA. Star power in women's basketball, this season is more than men's college basketball. Are we backtracking? I think this is the definition of backtracking, no? Because I believe at the time he had just deleted the Caitlin Clark screenshot and now he's changing his tone because some people thought it was fucked up that he was almost promoting a leak. <laughs> it's the same shit like when you see on Twitter, it's like a screenshot of a video and it's somebody like, I can't believe she did this. And then it's a promo for OnlyFans, except it's a girl who didn't consent to being in a fucking video. April 27th, Second, he addresses the leaks again. Gonna keep it 100. Whoever doing these leaks should be held accountable by law. My shit entertainment, that shit fucked up. Really? They should be held accountable by law. I mean, when I screenshotted this deleted tweet, it had 8.2, 8.2 million views. I mean, could you be considered as someone who's doing these leaks? And that's it. Now, Caitlin Clark has not responded to this. And I'm glad because you can't. If you do, it only gets worse. Shit gets shared. You need to wait for people to move on to the next thing. But I've never seen anything like this in my life. We talk about YouTube drama and, uh, you know, goofy things, but this is serious. And I don't understand how any of this is allowed legally, morally, uh, even on Twitter. Like, what the fuck? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you to all my members for supporting me. If you want to become a member, then click the link in the description description below. Also, I have a clothing brand and fund for people with chronic illness called Never Stop. I would love it if you checked that out as well. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.